I had like got a little uh, little little jerked up uh, yeah. uh, when I shot it. I rolled up on it and I had something stuff So I called my wife. And she's like, dude, what what is what is, <laughs> what's wrong? Did you kill Brandon? I'm like, no, I'm just so happy. She's like, did, she's like, did you shoot him? I'm like, no. <laughs> How many days was it? Nine. It happened on the last morning. We went on a high country muzzleloader hunt with pack goats and what took me and my wife a day to backpack in took me and porter and two pack goats two days it was just a a pretty epic adventure we didn't kill a deer and so it's not just on you you know it's a little especially in the beginning when we have our training wheels on as a company you know it's, it can be it will be group decisions so don't feel like you're going to be on your own island and it's like sink or swim like oh yeah. gosh it's, it's never like that around here yeah. I mean, I knew Seth before he was even like kind of a part of the conversations with Go Hunt, and he kind of like gave me some intel and had an Oregon tag before. Super detailed guy, seems like really knows his stuff, and he's into photos. So already when I see a guy who knows in, who's into photos and photography stuff, it's only thing. Okay, detail oriented. He knows the process. He knows what's a good shot, what's a bad shot. It's not the same thing with work. I would take it. He knows what's good and what's bad, and how to like navigate the work system. And I think he could you know, talk to anyone in like the hunting world for, you know, products and everything like that. So I think it's a perfect fit. Seth, mm -hmm. go out there and open that door. And like, if they're in there, get a good look. And be like, oh, is this, um, is this, I don't know, make up a name. Is he waving his hand? Hey. You, you good? Yeah. Oh my god, he might have got the whole story. What happened to you? We were worried. She just started showing me around everywhere. So I was like, okay. She you started showing you? Look. What'd you go in there and do? I just asked her if they were planning on moving, moving out of the office. If they were looking for a new place. She's like, yeah. So like, oh, you want to take a look? Yeah. Start showing me around. Can we go in there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's the bathroom situation? The bathroom situation? Uh, I'll show you guys. One? No, you don't have to show It's a, it's a community one. bathroom. You have to walk over and it's a type code. Uh, oh, only... for the multiple suites here? Yeah, yeah. So there's one upstairs, one downstairs. They're normally kept pretty well. Yeah. Um, there's a code yeah, there's in. a code on it, so there's not like bums sleeping in it over the weekend or anything. Have you ever done an interview on camera all day? No, never have. You did pretty good. Oh, thanks. Did they warn you about this beforehand? Yeah. Kind of. Chris okay. did. I basically gave him like the warning to where I had warned him so he can't tell him tell me that I didn't warn him. <laughs> right. But I didn't say you'd be following us around all day with your iPhone in our face. A lot going in. New office spaces you just saw. Yeah. A lot of movie parts. Okay. Give us, give us a bit of time to get our heads around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See you guys. Later, Seth. See you guys. Take it easy. I mean, we picked a guy with no retail experience to run our t retail store. Which sounds crazy as I say it, but it's not crazy. If, if you got drive and you got dedication, you can... We can teach those other skill sets. So although he doesn't know retail, we have our e-commerce consultant that's going to help him. Lorenzo and I are going to help him. He's going to get there because he's a passionate hunter. He's got drive. He's highly organized. He's got incredible attention to detail. And uh, so we we believe he's a fantastic fit. It's a warehouse space converted to this? Yeah. Where is it? Right here. Yeah, it's between Jones and Rainbow. How big is it? 4,000 feet. Is there any warehouse? It, is, it, it is, is a warehouse. That is a warehouse. And it's got a roll up door already. I have to go look up. I've never seen it myself. I know the park that it's in. Um, this is Tyler, by the way. Tyler, this is a place. You too. I mean, that's impressive. For what the price is. I mean, we'd be going and tearing it up. Yeah. Taking one out. You'd have to tell me. Nobody would. Well, I mean, on one side. For like, so half of it. 2,000 well, square feet. Another option is. It's a multi-tenant building, so if you guys end up wanting to keep that as your office portion and expand into one of the other units, that's... You just need pretty. to look at it and determine how much you're going to spend it on top of that to make yeah, it right. into what you want. Right. right.
think he's excited. So, I was thinking like our Facebook logo right here, just the stack, the diamond, gohan.com address, you know, diamond and stuff right here, and then we can, you can do whatever you want with the rest of the windows. I don't know how to do all of that. So you got, that's up to you guys to find how to do that. Yeah, but what were you just talking about? I can hook you up with the Geico people. To do the wrap that you're to talking about? To do the wraps about. and stuff, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, just here to look. Yeah. Hey, you man. Good. 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 We have it here. First one. Okay. Those mini meetings can be out here. Do you see it? It's good size. It's, yeah. I like this one. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. I just gave RG a licking. So get this. So get this. Okay? You listen to this? Okay. You know what sir? Okay? He was just sent an email to the site asking where his hat shipment is. He said, hey, I never got a tracking link. They're always supposed to send in emails with tracking links to it, right? But Carson didn't tell RG to send those emails, right? So I'm like, okay. Well, he's like, I just haven't been sending out hat shipments. Wait, what? Oh, I've been busy with school. No, no, I know, RG. I saw you literally go out the office yesterday with a hundred boxes. Oh yeah, no, th those are those are insider membership hats. Okay, so let me get, let me understand this correctly. The people that get a free hat when they join, you've been sending those all, every other day. Perfect, you're up to date with those, but you haven't sent hat shipments for people that pay money for a hat? Yeah, no, I haven't. How long? Oh, I don't know, probably at least two or three weeks. What? If you're going to the mailbox, you take, it's the same box, it's the same hat. One's paid and one's free. It doesn't matter, they go to people. You go to the mailbox, it's the same mailbox. Seth. Yeah, look at this. Okay, Seth. You gotta get those hat shipments out. Today. Yeah, definitely. I don't, it makes no sense to me whatsoever. Yeah, I saw that and I was making sure I was reading it correctly because I was like, it's been 10 days. Yeah. Or somebody who Why would he be it? sending the free hats out and not the paid hat stuff? Yeah. What's he just was at the mailbox. It's yeah. the same mailbox place. Yeah. Just down the road. Should be one stop right there. That's yeah. gotta get out. That's yeah. gotta get out. Thanks, man. Yeah. Hey, welcome to e commerce. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll get it. It's amazing what I find in my desk yeah. after all these years. Yeah, by the way. The battle bowl. Didn't even know I had that in there. I don't The reason I'm thinking dedicated is because I'm thinking. College waterfowl. The only time. Yeah, I, then I'm, it's my pride and joy. Yeah, I'm dedicated to South and I'm committed for three years. Yeah. Right? First archery box I ever killed. Lonzo, remember when we moved in here and this was one giant desk? And then we split it up into two? Yeah. <laughs> giant desk? Yeah, this is one giant desk. He added that piece right there. We were crafty. Startup mode, bro. Times are changing. When I turn back into one giant desk. Times are changing. When it gets to the great Cedar City office. Want a couple bucks? That's not about moving. Money just laying everywhere. So I'm here at the Browning headquarters in Morgan, Utah to see what goes on inside the office. There's been this, this talk within the hunting industry that uh, custom guns are the only guns able to shoot long distance of 700 yards plus, the only things that can do it accurately. And uh, we're, we're here to find out if that's 